Now, hypothetically, you have a dead server that nobody talks on. Now here's how you can possibly get your server to be alive again. Now first off, you want to join my Discord server, and yes, I'm forcing you guys to join. Please stay in there. You want to go to Creations, uh, make sure you look at Rules, of course. Uh, creations, click here. Now that you have entered the GitHub page, uh, you can check the code if you want. But if you're just here for the bot, go straight to releases. The recent one is 2.9.8. Scroll down. You want to download perhaps these three. I'm saying perhaps because you might not need this one. Okay, now that we have all of these, we're going to bring it into a separate folder. Here I have all of the files in a QOTD bot folder and I do not need two configs. One is enough and make sure it is renamed as config or else it will not work. Now, sample questions. This is just where you can import a plethora of questions. You have the question, you have the footer, you have who sends it, you have a time when it was added and whether it's a poll or not. So use this if you want. No, we're just not gonna touch it. Instead, you wanna go into config.yml and you see there are lots of options now first off you want to have the bot token so here's what we're going to do here's the developer portal what we're going to do is create a new application i'm going to just call it qot bot uh, personal don't do bot team and then accept and i have reached my limit so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go to this bot now once you've created your bot you're going to see something like this you can set its icon, you're gonna go to bot, you're gonna create bot, there should be a create bot, and then you click yes or accept, or I agree, whatever, and then you have this bot. You can set its username, but it should default to the application name. Now that you've done that, you want to reset its token. So now that you have the token, we're gonna copy it. We're gonna go back to the file and we're gonna go here and we're gonna paste it in. Now we're going to move on and we have to go to the server. Right click the server, copy ID, paste it. Now we have to find a QOTD channel, so where the QOTD is going to be sent. So I've created a section here called QOTD bot. I'm going to copy the ID and we're going to put it here. Now prefix, I'm just going to keep it as a default and how many minutes until a QOTD is sent. So I'm going to set it to 24 hours. Now here's the start time, so this is local server time. So whatever your time zone is, it's going to be sent at 9 in the morning. It is 24 hour clock. Now these are not mandatory fields, but I'm still going to go over them. You can set a perm rule. So these are people who can actually add QTs. And I want everyone to be able to do that. So everyone, everyone can add. You can set a manager rule. Here I have a mod rule. I copy the ID, we're going to paste it here. Now dynamic config is you can actually change whatever is inside of here using commands. So we're going to set that to true. The manager review, I'm going to set this to true. So it means a manager will be able to go through it. Now we go find the review channel, which I've already created. We copy the ID. We go back and we paste it. Now there's a embed color and I'm going to keep it as a default. Now that we have everything, we're gonna save this file. We're gonna exit out of our text editor. We're gonna go back to the bot. We're gonna to go to general information, copy the ID, and we're gonna to go to a permissions calculator. It's right now, none of these sites are in the GitHub, but I will be putting them here. Now we're gonna go tick off administrator. You put the client ID here, and then you go to this link. Now that you're in this link, you select the server. I'm going to select my basement and we're going to continue. Authorize. I am a human. Not what the hell is this? All right, now back on Discord, we see the bot has joined. After you get the bot's token, you want to scroll down and you want to enable message content so the bot can read the messages. And none of these matter. Now you can go back into the folder. And here we're going to go to CMD. So java dash jar to run a java program, drag the jar in, press enter, it's going to do its thing, successfully read config.yml, which is a good thing, now we're going to press enter to start the bot. 
After it says done, it's going to give you some information like when the bot's going to start sending stuff, whether there's a questions.json, so if there is already an existing questions list, and it's prepared a upload.json, meaning you can upload questions via Discord. Now going back to our Discord server, we can go into QOTD bot. And our prefix is QOTD, we're going to add a space and then help. Now we get a whole embed of all the commands that we can do. So QOTD help is this message. Since I was so indecisive earlier, I'm going to have to re-record this, this section and quickly go through it. So QOTD help gives us this embed, which is all the commands that we can do, and perms command, which is what we set earlier. If you set it to everyone, then everyone can add questions. If you set it to no one or a specific role, then those people can add this question. If you have manager verification or review set to on, then they will not be adding, they will be requesting. You can add a normal question or a poll. So QOTD add, we can add a question. So hello, lol. And now we can delete this message if we do not want to spoil this question. And since I have manager verification on, me as a moderator or just server owner, I can approve or deny. I'm going to approve it. And now we can see this by doing QOTDQ. In our queue, we can see all of the questions. This is the one I just added. If I want to view a specific one, all I need to do is QOTD view and then the index, which is four. And now we can see this. And now once again, if you don't want to spoil it, click delete and it gets deleted. Now there are a lot of manager commands. I'm not going to go through them all. You can check yourself. But the major ones that I want to talk about is the admin commands, which is dynamic config and update config. If you have dynamic config turned to false, then all of the config changes, so manager role, perm role, all of these will not be updated live. And you can do QOTD update config if you do want to save all the changes you have made, but you have dynamic config set to false. Now you can pause and unpause QOTD for whatever reason, and I'm going to do a QOTD test to show you what it kind of looks like here. So that is a poll. Now I can post the next one. Let's say something went wrong, or I want one to be posted early. QOTD post next, and it posts the next QOTD. And here you have it. Now that's about it for the QOTD bot. Hope you find this helpful and use this bot. And make sure to join my server. I am kidnapping you into my basement. For legal reasons, that's a joke.